reducing the burden when saving a life. I'm your state capital reporter, Alana Johnson. And there is a need for living organ donors in our neighborhoods. So state legislators are proposing a way to make it more accessible for those interested. In hospitals, some nurses know the end of one life can mean the saving of another. Being able to see firsthand the impact that that has um, on even just the donor's families. Seeing the power of organ donation led neurointensive nurse Melinda Herrera to the decision just one year ago. I had the opportunity to be a living liver donor. But she is just one when many more are needed. Advocates say that organ donors, especially living ones, are in dire need in our neighborhoods. According to Gift of Life Michigan, about 2,000 people in our state are waiting for a kidney and 200 are waiting for a liver, both of which our neighbors could give now. But advocates also know it's never as easy as it sounds. Time off work and child care if necessary and someone to be your caregiver after surgery. And that's what state legislators want to change with the live organ donation tax credit. It would provide up to $10,000 to cover the associated expenses. Family members are asked, uh, members of the community are asked. Patrick Wells O'Brien with Gift of Life says the bill would give those who may be willing an easier chance to make the decision. Expenses related to being a hero as a living organ donor. Something Herrera encourages others to consider. The ability to step in and give a gift that could ultimately save another human's life. The bill heads over to the Senate for consideration. At the Capitol, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.